Good morning. Here's the baby. A gloomy day today. Hello guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. If you guys are new here, my name is Bianca. Colin. We are on our way currently just doing a vlog, but today is my 15 week appointment. So I don't think we're getting an ultrasound or anything, which for some reason I thought that we might because I've seen people say like that they've gotten 15 week ultrasounds. But we're headed to the doctor and also we find out the gender. We're having our gender reveal in nine days. So that's exciting. We, it was, that was the fastest appointment of my entire life. We didn't even have time to vlog anything. Yeah, it's right here, babe. Okay, yeah. So we're just gonna go run some errands now because we're out and we need to. And Colin needs to get a suit because we're going to another wedding this weekend that he's in. We heard the heartbeat. Mm -hmm. And she said, woohoo, it all sounds healthy in the 140s. Any questions? Yeah, we pretty like, much. No. So, yeah, I that guess. The appointment was just more or less of just a checkup to make sure the baby's good, I guess. Yeah, just to make sure the heart rate was going well. Anyways, so it's in the 140s. The good news is four weeks from today, so it's like October 19th, which is the week before we leave for our baby moon. Yeah. We are getting our anatomy scan, which is so fun. And also when we're going on our baby moon, I will be 20 into 21 weeks. So we're Wait, going. Sure it's right yeah, it's right down there. Oh yeah, okay. So it's kind of exciting because we're going on our baby moon when I'm like halfway through the pregnancy, which is like fun. I'll just be right back. I'll oh, okay. You. Unless you wanted to come again. I mean, no, not really. Appointment went well. All right, we're at Joss or Joss A Bank. I don't know men's clothing stores. Hopefully his suit's ready, because I don't know. We kind of have to leave in like two days for this wedding. Right? It's two days? Yeah. Oh, goodness. He got his suit, you guys. Dang, I wish I recorded you in it. I mean, it is what it a is. bad vlogger you can do today. It, you can do it the day we go. You're right. No, you're gonna go way before me. We've never been to a wedding that Colin's been in, and I haven't been in it. But I've been to a wedding where you've been in, and I haven't. I know, but you went with my mom. So it was more- Regina's fun. gonna be there. Okay. Eric's gonna be there. Okay. You can hang out with them. Okay. I uh, got my free Starbucks drink because of my points. I got a pumpkin spice latte. My drink. As I walked in, they were placing it on the to-go order thing. So it was perfect timing. I have been very much into following mom bloggers. Conveniently enough, some of my favorite people are pregnant and or just had a baby. For instance, Kristen Johns, Chelsea Jade Curtis, as, uh, I was just looking on Kristen John's story and she linked her car seat and I went to look at it and it was $400. That's expensive. I have no idea what you're talking about. I was watching Kristen John's Instagram story because she's linking her favorites. Like she linked her pacifier from Amazon. Super inexpensive, super cute. Mm -hmm. I'll probably order one. But you have to try out different brands because babies like are picky and they have a preference and sometimes they literally don't like a pacifier and like they'll like another one more and mm -hmm. they'll only want that one just going through her story and she was linking her diapers and everything and then i got to the car seat and stroller option and um i clicked on the link for the car seat and she's like so many people recommended it it's so good and then i went to go look at how much it was it was four hundred dollars and then i went to look at the stroller and it's fourteen hundred dollars. God. And then I was like, oh my god. You just don't need fancy stuff, like. Well, yeah, we definitely don't need fancy stuff. Does, does your dad have an old one? Oh wait, I wonder if my dad has an old one. I just said that. I, I literally just said, does your dad have an old one? You said, oh wait, I wonder if my dad has an old one. Like yeah. you were stealing my idea. I wasn't stealing it though. I was thinking it, but my brain just didn't process. Like that makes the as... most sense out of everything is to see if your dad has an old one. You're right. I'm gonna call my dad. <laughs> Okay, so I had a whole nother plan for yesterday, but the day just didn't go as planned. So I was like, okay, well, you know, it happens. So, um, we're starting fresh today. Today's the last day before we leave for the wedding tomorrow. So, honestly, I don't know how much I'll get today. Mainly, like, gonna be vlogging tomorrow and the next day because of, like, us traveling to the wedding. But I did want to mention really quick 
that I just ran to Target and I picked up this protein because I needed new protein and this was on sale and I've heard people talking about it. So I was like, mm, I'll give it a try and I got more greens. So I'm going to make a protein shake really quick, tell you guys about it. And then I do nanny today. So I need to go get ready and then go do that. And then we'll regroup. My dress for the wedding came. Smoothie. I had to pause the morning toast. Okay, trying it. That protein powder is so good. Instant, it was like an instant sip and I knew it was so good. Do you have to go to the bathroom? I think you do. Let's go handle that. I'm doing some late night pumpkin making because I've been up trying to edit a vlog to get it up for you guys because I'm like being a bad YouTuber. Back up on my stand. Guys, I just have to tell you a story about what happened tonight, okay? Because I haven't vlogged in a minute because I had an attitude. Colin had an attitude. I had a really bad attitude and I think it's honestly because I've had a headache for five days straight and I still have a headache like as I'm speaking to you right now so it sucks but uh, since we're going out of town tomorrow actually honestly both of us just had such a busy day today that Colin said hey let's do Cadoba for dinner and I said hey let's do chicken fried rice for dinner so I ended up ordering the food online for us and I ordered it to a place that's not seven minutes away, that's 25 minutes away, and didn't notice, and then Colin drove to the one that was seven minutes away. It clicked with me when they didn't have our order, and he called me being like, wait, what is our order? That it was at the place that's 25 minutes away when I looked on the receipt. So then we were like, ah, and then I was trying to cancel my order and see if they would just make it for us there, because you know, they do that at Chipotle if you order it at the wrong place, but they don't do that at Mr. Tokyo. So anyways, if Colin would have left and gotten our food by then, our food would have been sitting there for an hour, plus it was rush hour, plus it would have taken him even longer to get back home, and it wouldn't even have been good. So we basically paid for two meals mm -hmm. tonight, and it was just a very big fail. It was bad. It was very frustrating, but at that point, it was like, okay, what do we do? I mean, we could have just gone to Chick-fil-A or something, but... Yeah, I'm What? It was good. Whatever, we were pissed at each other because I messed up and then I thought he was mad at me for ordering it at the other place, but I didn't mean to order it at the other place. It was a complete accident. I was mad because I lost 30 some dollars. Okay. It, well, we, we, whatever, that's true. Anyways, so it was just a case of baby brain struck again. So yeah, I'm gonna him a little bit because we were both kind of mad at each other, but no. We're good. We just took Murph to go play with another dog named Charlie. So cute. And now it's been editing. And now we did this. I also forgot to show you guys my dress that came for the wedding for this weekend. I'm wearing a dress from Princess Polly for the rehearsal dinner. But for the wedding, I got a dress from Nordstrom. Um, it's from the brand Waif, which they actually have really good, like, affordable dresses. This was 50 And it's, like, the same situation that I wore last weekend. But this is, like... A style that looks good on me right now so it's got really cute pink flowers and I thought the pink was like more of a fall pink I guess it's a spring pink but anyways it's just like a pink dress the wedding Colin said it was at a brewery or something it's at a brewery or the rehearsal dinner is at a brewery I don't know I know the cocktail hours and, at a brewery. Oh, okay oh. Uh, well I know it's not like super fancy 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 it's like not right the wedding isn't super fancy fancy oh god well, I hope not. Either way, I'm wearing this dress. So this is my dress for the wedding this weekend. Morning, guys. I woke up, took a shower, and I just made a green smoothie with that protein again. Oh my goodness. It is so good. That's going to be my new protein for sure. Take my prenatals. Today's Thursday. This pill case has been a lifesaver. I mentioned it in my last vlog. It's so much easier. I'm going to go blow dry my hair. I'm going to do my... No. He wants some of my smoothie. I'm gonna do my makeup once we get to the hotel today. It's such a cute hotel. It's like a boutique hotel. It's called the B Hotel. But I'm gonna do my makeup when we get there, but <laughs> here now. Here are my two dresses, the rehearsal dinner and wedding. This one's Princess Polly, and then this one's Waif. We're all packed up and in the car, and we're dropping Murphy off at my mom's house. She's watching him. And this is the first time that we've left him overnight. And he's not been with us, so it's a little sad. But I mean, he's just with my mom, so it's not rewarding. I don't think I could ever mourn him. But I'm sad, Murph. We're gonna miss you. I wish you could come to the wedding. 
with your mohawk, you'd be the main attraction. He doesn't know what to do with himself. Okay. We're stopping in Blakeney really quick because we're going to Shake Shack. That's going to be our road trip meal. It's two and a half hours away, so it's really not that bad at all. I feel like that's literally nothing. No, we're just hungry. We haven't eaten. Yeah, we're hungry. No, I know. I'm saying this is nothing like... Curbside pickup. I didn't do that. I didn't wear makeup on purpose because I knew I would shed a tear when we left Murph because he was sad and he kept trying to run out and come with us and I was upset. So now I got a milkshake to make it better. We were going to go to Chick-fil-A and then I was like, actually, shit, shit. It sounded really good. Right now. I know. I don't know what you're doing. Got the goods. Colin got two cheeseburgers. Crazy. I got french fries. Made it to the hotel. Good. Oh, it's so little. That's the smallest bed. Holy crap. The bathroom. The bathroom is really nice. I'm putting my makeup on because we're in a rush now. Hold on one second. Okay, I just got ready. Colin's at Starbucks getting me Starbucks. Um, because I was getting ready and we were gonna be late, so whatever. Anyways, just did my makeup. My lip combo is my go-to lip combo. Here, let me. Can you turn the fan off? Around the outside, it's the KKW Nude 2 lip liner and then Huda Beauty Wifey in the center. So you like outline your lips and then fill it in with Wifey. And then I mix the NYX Butter Gloss in Madeline and Cran Brew, no, Fortune Cookie. Madeline and Fortune Cookie Butter Gloss mixed. Such a good lip combo. And then here's baby. Everybody and their mother thinks that it's a boy, you guys, so we will see next week. But yeah, here's my outfit. And then I'm wearing these heels that I literally wear all the time. I got them from Urban years ago, and I will never get rid of them until they just like aren't cute anymore because, or until they break or I don't even know because they're so cute. But anyways, this dress is Princess Polly and very, very cute. I need to fix the bow up a little bit. But yeah, here's the outfit, it's a cute collar, and then all my stuff is everywhere. I'm also bringing this bag from Princess Polly. Give it like a nice fall look. This is the only other purse I brought, so yeah, me and baby taking on another wedding. All right, I'm ready. Colin's about to be here, so I'm just gonna do iPhone footage since my purse is kind of small, but it's just rehearsal tonight, so I think it'll be fine. Um, so iPhone footage it is. We're gonna switch to the phone. Whatever I get, I'll include. We're at rehearsal. Here's Colin's outfit, styled by me. Babe. <laughs> wedding day for Chris and Laura. so um slept good it was weird going back to a queen bed once you get, like, get used to a king but it's okay Colin's in the shower I found a really cute breakfast place I think it'll be cute I mean I don't know we've never been here before but I think I found a cute little breakfast place they have like breakfast bagels breakfast burritos um and also checkouts at 11 so I think we're gonna get ready and then the boys are all getting ready in an Airbnb and I think I'm gonna like crash, <laughs> not crash, but I think I'm going to attempt to see if I can also get ready at the Airbnb because Colin and I were not thinking and we brought one bag that we're sharing and we both need it to get ready. And also we check out at 11 and I have nowhere else to get ready. So I'm hoping that that's okay and that they let me get ready there because if not, I literally don't know what I'm gonna do. Um, I guess I could always get ready in the bathroom here, like the community bathroom. But yeah, we just were not thinking. We were like, oh, we'll just condense and we'll use one bag, which sounded great in the moment. But then we were like, oh, wait a minute. So I'm sure that they won't mind it. And it's honestly like a huge Airbnb house. We went there last night to watch a little bit of the Panthers game. 
and they were winning so i'm sure they won me and they're going to bed but um anyway so yeah i'm gonna shower and then we're gonna get get like shower ready and then just not do my makeup until later and then hopefully i can finish getting ready there i guess i could always just do my makeup in the car too okay we are dressed, about to go get some breakfast. I'm wearing this shirt and some biker shorts. The shirt's from ASOS. Biker shorts are white fox. We've got our outfits for the wedding. We are getting ready at the Airbnb. Well, he was originally. I am getting ready at the Airbnb, thank goodness. So, grabbing our things. Going to breakfast. Excuse me. <laughs> In my defense, it fell right off. <laughs> There's little, um, these things. Here's where we're going to breakfast. It's called Crema and Vine. And there's like a ton of old houses around. And it's pretty cool, actually. Ready to go. Yep. Groomsman. It's me. He's standing at the end, but it's okay because he gets to walk out first. It's the next day. We are home from the wedding and it was great. Colin had a good time reuniting with all of his college friends and now we're headed out to lunch. <laughs> we're going on a date. I won a gift card for this place called Easy Like Sunday. I like won an Instagram giveaway and they were giving away that gift card. Which was so good. Now we're going to this bookstore. I want to show Colin that bookstore that I love to go to because it's right here. Home from our little date day, we ended up going to that bookstore like I showed you guys, and Colin and I both got books. Currently reading The Last Mrs. Parish. I'm like 100 pages in. I need to really finish it. And then I also got The Mother-in-Law, which is on my Goodreads want to read list. Actually, both of the books that I got are on my Goodreads want to read list. I've heard so many good things about this book. I am so excited to read it. I'm probably gonna end up reading it next. Actually, I don't know. Then I got Ugly Love, which everyone and their mother has told me to read Ugly Love because I loved Verity and I loved It Ends With Us. This is a coho book. We love Colleen Hoover. So these are coming up next. I'm excited to tell you guys about them. First, I need to finish reading The Last Mrs. Parish. But anytime I'm by the Park Road Shopping Center area in Charlotte, I always go to the bookstore because I get all my books from there to shop local and support like a small family owned bookstore. Colin got this book called Voodoo Hideaway, which is a mob thriller. I have no idea what it's about. I'm excited to do some silent friendship time and read together silently on the couch next to each other, but reading. It'll be nice and fun, but I'm gonna end the vlog 
so I can edit it because I'm literally uploading this today and I'm behind on my editing because we had that wedding. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're not already subscribed, that would mean so much to me if you did and it would really support my channel. And if I were you guys, I would get really excited because the next vlog is going to be me prepping for the gender reveal party and then we're going to have the gender reveal. So yes, fun vlogs to come. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next one.